Hello everyone, Rain here, and welcome to Alexander, the Arm of the Father. This raid requires players to be I-170 and is the third new raid available as of patch 301. If you're wondering where my guide is for the Cup of the Father, I don't plan on doing one unless you guys request it. It's pretty simple, and very similar to turn 4. I'm confident everyone can clear it easily, but if everyone still wants one, let me know and it would be my pleasure. The boss of the Arm of the Father is the Living Liquid, a blob of goo that transforms into different shapes as the fight goes on. The arena is surrounded with a lightning field AoE that will paralyze, stun, and damage any player who enters it. Tank the Living Liquid in the center of the arena to avoid problems further down the road. The Living Liquid kicks things off with Protean Wave, which causes a few randomized conal AoEs to spawn from Liquid's origin. Simply move out of the lit cones to avoid taking damage. Splash is Living Liquid's unavoidable room-wide AoE ability. We're plenty used to these, so just heal through them and keep going. When the Liquid casts loose, four players will receive teal markers above their heads. These players need to spread out before they are struck with splash AoEs that deal medium damage to the targets and any nearby players. Living Liquid's first form shift will be to a Magitek Hand type enemy. In this form, Liquid hits the tank quite hard, so healers be on your toes for any sudden drops in the tank's health. The Liquid also has a high damage cleave in this form that the tanks can stack to split. The Liquid will cast Wash Away in its hand form, knocking players back from the center of the arena, not the Liquid's position. As such, players need to move to the center of the arena to avoid being knocked into the lightning surrounding the arena. After Wash Away, the Living Liquid will summon the Living Limb. At this time, both the Liquid and the Limb will begin giving the tanks blunt resistance down stacks, so the OT needs to pick the Limb up to avoid either of the tank's stacks getting too high, resulting in a dead tank. Shortly after the Living Limb spawns, the hands will move to the center of the arena and assume the Living Liquid's third form, a Twister. We all love Twisters here in FF14. Stepping too close to the tornado will deal damage to the offending player, so it is wise not to stand too close to the center during this form shift. Throughout this form, the Living Liquid will be invulnerable. The tornado will pause with severe contamination, dealing unavoidable raid-wide damage and summoning three adds. This ability also damages the Living Liquid self. The adds can be stunned, and if the gear lubricant adds reach the edge of the arena, they will give the entire party a vulnerability up stack. As such, they should be killed as quickly as possible. Severe contamination can also summon piston lubricants. These adds can also be stunned and should be killed ASAP, for when they reach the outside of the arena, they will give the boss a stacking damage buff. The Twister will occasionally tether one of the party members before blasting them with a high damage AoE that deals splash damage similar to Sluice. One of the tanks should pick up this tether and pull it away from the party to minimize the damage. While in Twister form, the Liquid also casts Pharaoh Fluid. This ability binds two players together as either two positive, two negative, or one of each. If the markers are positive and negative, the players will be stunned before being drawn into one another. A double positive or double negative will stun and knock back both players, so they should meet near the center of the arena and orient themselves so that they do not wind up in any of the AoEs around the arena. After the second time Living Liquid enters its Twister form, it will revert to its human form for the rest of the fight. In this form, it can cast Cascade, dealing high unavoidable raid-wide damage, and summoning three pools around the arena. So long as players avoid stepping into these pools or being knocked into them by Wash Away or Ferro Fluid, they will not be a problem. Moving into them will inflict players with the Dropsy Damage Over Time debuff. The Living Liquid's Human Cleave will now also give all players hit blunt resistance down, forcing a tank swap if either tank accumulates too many stacks. We found that around 6 stacks is a good number to swap at. Living Liquid will now also cast Ferro Fluid in its human form. Keep on burning the Living Liquid down and he'll be dead in no time. Congratulations on clearing the Arm of the Father. This raid was plenty of fun, and the music for all of these raids so far has just been amazing. Thanks for watching my guide, and if you liked it and want to see more of my Heavensward videos, feel free to subscribe. I appreciate your support, and thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Rain, signing off.